For years and years, General Hospital pot stirrer Scotty Baldwin has had it out to get Sonny Corinthos, and we can understand why. Back when the monster was first introduced, when he was but a wanted godfather, he enticed Scotty's high school aged daughter, Karen Wexler, to strip at his club, the Paradise Lounge. He even got her to believe that doing so was her idea, not his, but wait, there's more. Sonny also introduced Karen to drugs and tucked her into his own bed. So yeah, Scotty is not ever going to be one of the Port Charles residents running around hailing the dawn as a hero. If he had a chance, the former DA would take down the racketeer in a heartbeat. And it just so happens that he may now have a chance. With Jagger Cates, sorry John, back in town, Scotty has a powerful ally, an FBI agent who loathes Sonny as much as he does. When the two reconnected at Karen's grave site on her birthday, Scotty marveled to his former son-in-law that despite living a life of crime, Sonny walks around like he's the mayor. Given that Scotty has at times had some weight to throw around in Port Charles, John naturally wondered why he hadn't moved Sonny out of his penthouse and into the big house. He's very slippery, the lawyer said in what may be the understatement of the millennium. He's convinced people that he's a good guy. But in Scotty's eyes, that's something that he isn't and will never be. He remembers all too vividly how Sonny got Karen hooked on drugs and on him, to the point that she felt like without him, she ceased to exist. Eventually, Karen got the help that she needed, broke it off with Sonny and reunited with high school sweetheart John. They married and left Port Charles together when he was accepted into the police academy in Chicago. But their relationship faltered when Karen returned to Port Charles as a medical intern, and they divorced in 1997. In the years that followed, the med student got involved with the Scanlon brothers, helped battle the vampires that descended on General Hospital spin-off Port Charles, and died after being struck by a car. Which is a pretty dull way to go, no, considering that having her blood drained by a vampire who resembled Hamilton Finn was an option.